chance of qualifying for next season's Champions League. Five league wins in a row now, thanks to a 3-1 victory at the bottom club, Fulham. It means Everton are four points behind fourth place Arsenal, and Everton have a game in hand. In the Edinburgh derby match, Hearts beat Hibs 2-0 to preserve their status in the Scottish Premiership for the time being. Roddy Forsyth centres this report. Hearts were virtually consigned to relegation from the start of the season when they were deducted 15 points for going into administration. But the clocks have gone forward and they're still not down. It might have happened in this game with the added humiliation of having Hibs inflict the damage. Instead, Hearts scored early through Dale Carrick and an injury time from Billy King. And they've prolonged the fight at least until Aberdeen come to Tyne Castle on Wednesday. But Hibs are now only six points above the playoff position. And although it's unlikely they'll join their neighbours along with Rangers in the Championship, the possibility can't be ruled out especially since Terry Butcher's men have won only once in their last 13 fixtures. Peterborough United beat Chesterfield 3-1 at Wembley to lift the Football League trophy. Peterborough boss Darren Ferguson says the victory could push them on to further success this season as they try to get out of League One. It's come just at the right time for us. I think it might just re-energise us again and, and once you've had a taste of this place you want to get back. And it's a great motivation for us. We have got an advantage over other teams in the sense that we've been here. I know other teams have been here in the past, but you know it's only four or five weeks away that you might be back. We're confident that we'll, we'll remain in the playoffs. We are. We're very confident we'll do that. Lewis Hamilton was the winner of the Malaysian Formula One Grand Prix ahead of teammate Nico Rosberg. And Hamilton seemed happy with his Mercedes car. Nothing's ever easy. You're always learning. And, you know, this is the first time this year, really, I've done, obviously, first race to that distance that I've really, really covered. And learn about the fueling, learn about the tyres. Lots of things that I'll go back to the room now and things that I definitely can improve on, which is even, even better. But really, really happy with the performance today. And, um, you know, let's hope that it continues this way. Novak Djokovic was the winner of the final for the Miami Masters tennis again. This time he defeated world number one Rafa Nadal 6-3, 6-3. England's women cricketers have made it through to the semi-finals of the World 2020 after beating Sri Lanka. The victory margin seven wickets. In the men's 2020, India confirmed their progress to the semis. They had a 73-run win over Australia, who suffered a third consecutive defeat. And Pakistan beat Bangladesh by 50 runs to set up a decider with the West Indies. After a 22-match losing sequence, Worcester got their first win of the season in Rugby Union's Premiership. It was a 17 points to 12 success over Newcastle. While in Super League, there were wins for Witness, Warrington and for Hull Kingston Rovers. As that's hit hard down the ground. Is it going to be caught? No, it's not. It goes over the head of the fielder. 62 tournament matches, 22 days. The ICC World 2020, Bangladesh 2014. Ball by ball commentary. This week on Five Live Sports Extra. Square leg up as Morkel bowls. That's oh, only six balls. That's three sixes in three balls. For full listings, go to bbc.co.uk slash five live. On DAV Digital Radio, Digital TV, downloads and online. This is BBC Radio 5 Live. Up all night. With Dotson Adebayo. Yeah, from our Monday morning to phone in, Lisa Braitsman from the New York Sinuses League Medicine PC is with us. Uh, we've had one email here from Sharon who refers back to the previous caller, um, our caller in the Midlands who had foot ulcers. And she says, I do know magnetic bandages can help with pain and healing. Just type in a search engine for more information. Hope that helps. I do know my sister-in-law, who was a district nurse at the 